So for the excursion, the bus took about an hour to get from the hotel out to the Wilderness Conservation Center. And we were given about just under an hour to go through that. It was really interesting. So he took us up to, the, it's kind of on a very slight hill. And he took us up to the top and then let us walk back all the way down. And it's paths that go by different habitats. And there was bears, there were elk, there were deer, there was bison, there was a couple of mooses. Um, yeah, there was a lot of different critters. Uh, in, in one other side, there was, oh, I think there was a fox and some other stuff that I didn't see because they weren't, you know, out in their habitats. There were a couple of raptors. There was an eagle and an owl. Uh, supposed to be a porcupine somewhere. I never saw him. And there was supposed to be a lynx, but that also was hiding. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was really interesting. And, of course, you exit through the gift shop. <laughs> and then there was, like, this little food truck court right outside with with uh, vendors that sold Alaskan food uh, like bison sausage, reindeer sausage, uh, various things like that and I didn't stop and have any of that I wasn't hungry still but uh, it was interesting to sort of walk through and see what there was of course I keep looking at things in the gift shops right now and thinking my bags are full to bursting if I buy anything I'm going to have to ship it <laughs> So I've, I've refrained from buying anything. <laughs> now we are gonna really get into the nice scenic part of our drive on our way to Portage Glacier. This, this highway and route we're gonna be taking is uh, ranked amongst one of the most beautiful, I believe top 10 or top 20 most scenic routes that you can drive in the US. Notice a couple of things over here on the right. First, I'll just point out that train track. Now that track goes and takes the train all the way from Seward, all the way down south of Seward, uh, and it goes all the way up towards near Denali. This is the Wildlife Center. And the mountains around it are just beautiful. I wanted to capture that here real quick if I could. So after we went to the Wildlife Center, it was probably 15, 20 minute drive after that to the, it was Portage Lake, which is where Portage, which is made by Portage Glacier. And we were on, I can't remember the name of the ship. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it in the uh, uh, little bubble. And it's, uh, it was glass all around. So you could see, it was double-decker, so you could see if you were in, you know, the bottom half and, and trying not to freeze to death. Although, it, you know, it was cold, but it, it wasn't as cold as some of the other excursions I've to taken. I also foolishly did not remember all of my cold weather stuff. <laughs> so I was sitting there, I had stored my bags already, you know, I checked them in with the concierge so I didn't have to lug them around while I was waiting for my room. And I didn't have my gloves, my hat, nothing. I had a lightweight hoodie. That was it. So yeah, it was colder for me than maybe it should have been because of my own foolishness. But it was nice to be able to see the glacier. We got really close to it and got to see it, you know, I think it's probably the closest I've gotten to a glacier so far. 
Because, you know, when you're on the ships, the big ones, and you go to a glacier, you don't get that close. And even some of the, the day trips, you don't get that close. But the way this glacier is uh, on the lake, you're able to get really close to it. You'll see in the footage. And so that was really cool. Oh, and you can leave your belongings on the bus for both stops. So that was really nice. That was handy because I had a very heavy backpack. And I took out my, uh, my camera and the stuff I would need while I was actually shooting. And I was able to leave the rest of the stuff in the backpack, in the, in the bus, and it was fine. <laughs>